Okay, I just want to do a quick recap on uh, grading uh, using Corel Draw because it is one of the important learning units in mass production. What normally happens in mass production is that when you make a mistake on grading, make any mistake on grading, you have spoiled the whole order. I managed to show you this the other day in class, but I was just, I was just rushing through and most of you did not have computers to follow what I was doing, especially when I was, uh, you were not opening your coral draw to um, follow what I was doing on, uh, I just I, I just rushed through grading with computer with the cards, but I know you people you are gurus when it comes to cards. You actually know more about cards than me because you started using uh, AutoCAD. But for those that uh, have that have never used um coral draw to grades like you said you've never used coral draw i showed you that you can use the step and repeat but let me just quickly show you for example this our west uh this is our point number one this one according to this uh grading root table this is our point number one this is our point number two this is our point number three, which is the heat area. This is number point number four, the hem. Number five is this, and then six, seven, and eight is on the dash position here. Remember, point number one, it moves 0 0.3 upwards and in the x direction y. So always we remember our Cartesian plane. We never go anywhere. We never grade without the Cartesian plane. And with our Cartesian plane, we've got to remember this will be our y. So we know the opposite is minus y. This is our minus x. I'm just going to show the minus y and minus x. Okay. So we know this will be y minus y minus x, x, right? So this point is 0 0.3, 0 in the y direction and then this point 0 0.3 and 0 0.1 and 1 here why 1 here because on our measurement chart here i don't have my measurement chart but when i drew the block for this kit uh which is this one my waist here was 92 centimeters and my waist i am saying it is increasing the total waist the total circumference of the waist which is this, it is 92 centimeters. And from size small to size medium, it is increasing by 4 centimeters. But right here, I don't have a full waist, but I have a quarter waist. So I divide by 4. That means this one, I am grading by 1 centimeter. Also, the hip circumference is increasing by 4 centimeters. But because this is quarter hip, I put 1 centimeter, same as the him so i start with this point this point i'm obviously going to offset it in the minus direction which is why i put minus 0 0.3 here and then on the vertical side i'm going to put no offset and then it moves like this the that is going to move again in the minus 0 0.3 but the that is offset again in this direction by 0 0.5 so i say apply and then this line it is increasing by one centimeter thereby increasing our waist measurement our hip measurement and our hem and this line is in the vertical is moving in the vertical direction or in the y direction by one centimeter in the um horizontal directions we say no offset and then we say apply this line we want our length of our skirt to total total increase by one cm but we have already added 0 0.3 here this 0 0.3 that we added it's because we said our waist to hip measurement is going to be increasing by 0 0.3 from one size to the next here is our waist to hip measurements it went 1.7 on this small size right but on the next size it will be 30 then 30.3 then 30.6 it is increasing by 3 millimeters or 0 0.3 so we've increased when we increase our waist to hip we've automatically also increased our skirt length by 0 0.3 but because we want our total length of the skirt to increase by 1.7 we add the difference here which is 0 0.7 so 
0 0.7 here but this time it's in the x direction so there is no need to push the minus and it's also in the right direction and then here offset in the vertical nothing is happening you say apply so once you have finished grading your skirt there is something that i want to show you because the purpose of grading is that at the end you want to remove this small skirt to be standing on its own and then this next sketch that you have created the medium to be standing on its own so for that to happen right you take everything that you have created let's say for example this uh, you, you got your layers here this is layer this is your layer number one it is got everything you create a new layer you call it size medium all right so your this one you i've already written it in size small so this line here it was in size small i removed it from size small i put it in medium this line here i remove it in size small and i put it in size medium same as this line if you can't see you can always increase so this line it uh this new west line here it's no longer it's not size small it's size medium and then the second that that i'm seeing here is not in size small but it is size medium so when i close size um wait a minute so when i finish with my sketch i have got this line here in size small but this line i wanted to appear in both size small and size medium so i go here and i say copy and then paste and then this line also doesn't move doesn't change i want it to continue in both size small so i say copy and then i also paste so that it appears in size medium all right and then i've got the grain line the front skate block all these lines i want them also to appear in size medium copy and then paste exactly if i close my size more here you see this eye if i close this eye i'll be left with my size medium here so for my size medium there are some things that i need to fix to fix now like there are some spaces here that i need to fix i can increase and fix these spaces maybe i um, can do this or i can use them um i can use the um, this to the shape too just do whatever you want as long as you are fixing your line and closing all these openings mm -hmm. So I take my this one, I put it here. So the dynamic the dynamic guidelines, these one, these blue lines that you keep seeing, these ones, is because I have already activated them. So that's why you keep seeing keep seeing them. They are always appearing every time I draw because they guide me to make sure that I'm always on a straight path and I'm not bending right and then this is the most important part i need to maintain this curve so for me i can do this i can use the shape tool here and increase this i don't want to vex yeah exactly i don't want to vex my waistline just to remain on the same point and then i can okay i can do this okay something is wrong here it's not smooth so i can do this i can increase this one oh sorry what happened here okay i can increase this a bit then i add my line that i want to use here to join this one is a bit smoother but it's yet not perfect okay and then this one i can do virtual segment and then after that here i am so 
remember here i only have my size media so i also need to write it i need to write my size media text media all right so i've got my size. so this is my size media so to already avoid confusion my size medium right I want my size medium to be red. You guys, you know better than me. You can cut, you can um, color all this at once. You know all this. right so right to page i've got my size medium and then i can unhide my size small so you can see my size small is inside and my size medium is outside so i can again hide my size small and be left with my size medium now i need to remove this this line is it appearing in both size small and size medium let me check it has to appear in both sizes this line yeah it is so i can hide my size small and i'll be left with my size medium once i have my size medium i can group it if i want and i put it here i can unhide my size small now as you can see i have two patterns and now i want to create my marker i can safely create my marker but there is something wrong with my skate with this pattern here these are two fronts a size medium and these two size small with this kind of pattern here i can only use it if i am cutting on fold you understand because a front is never just one uh, usually a front for a pencil sketch like the one that i showed you that we're working on that we're working on or the pencils normal pencil sketch the front is normally two it's normally one panel so what i can do is sorry is i can let's say i want my this size small i can mirror it did i say mirror vertically no actually i do i co co copy so that i have two skirts and then i mirror it vertically like this and then the other skirt i bring it here then i can always zoom and work on it and join it and remove the other parts you know delete and you join it and do whatever you want so that is how to grade a sketch